homotherium. Homotherium crenatidens. The same beast with crenulated teeth. I disagree with the naming of this animal. Same beast is not the same as any beast alive or dead. Homotherium was a absolutely horrific creature to behold. It was a saber-toothed cat. We think of saber-toothed cats as just tigers with giant saber teeth. That is not true. This has nothing to do with modern-day tigers. It's a much a more ancient lineage of cats with a jaw and a set of teeth much more developed than in the cats alive today. Serrated like a steak knife, each and every single one of them. The canines were hypertrophied and blade-like. Because of this morphology, this animal is also known as the scimitar tooth cat. These canines, even in the cast, the cast from bone clones, the canines are crenulated, meaning they're serrated. Premolar, premolar, molar. Second premolar is functionally much reduced. And then the third premolar is just huge. Only hyenas have this size and cutting surface on their carnassials, suggesting perhaps some kind of functional analogy between those two feliform carnivores. The mastoid processes, not in any sort of hypertrophied extra size. The back of the skull, the occipitum, the lambdoidal crest though, and this whole portion are very big. And that's associated with the this sort of motion. The lower jaw, the incisors are also very much prognathic and hyper-developed nature. And the canines are reduced and very much part of this fearsome cookie cutter incisor battery. Premolar, premolar, molar again is very much hypertrophied just like in hyenas. As the coronoid process is reduced as in all saber-toothed cats and the angular process is pronounced. The shape of the jaw is quite different from any cat and any carnivore alive today, and that is associated with this Machairodontine ancestry legacy. Its saber teeth seem not to have hung out too much outside the jaw. The body of this animal, its function. Homotherium was not a big, burly, wrestler, jaguar, smilodon type of cat. It was not of that morphotype. If you would have seen one, it would have appeared, it wouldn't have moved the same way a cat day. It had a sloping back, larger chest, and a different kind of gait. It was an open country cat, just like tigers are closed cover type of animals, and lions are open area, open country, savanna type of animals. Smilodon was a closed cover stalker creature, and Homotherium was its open landscape analog. And it is likely that design that was really adapted to take down large proboscids, elephants, mammoths. In a way that is very much, I think, shark-like. Acts if it was a soul hunter, or if it was a pack living creature, a lot to break through the herd structure of the mammoth herd. But once it did that, once it, would, it was able to target a specific individual of a smaller size, it would attack it and retreat. Attack it and retreat. And it severely injury desired prey and repeatedly, doggedly attack its victim until it was weak enough to dispatch. This animal lived on the plains of Beringia. Northern Europe, the North Sea, all the way through to North America where it gave rise to a different subspecies called Homotherium cyril. Its evolutionary history likely started with a Machairodus type of animal and uh, I believe that Locotungilurus, which was an African animal, was the initial design from which these animals became derived. I would like to make it someday. First of all, I would like to make its skull based on, on the bone clone skull. I would cast the teeth and then make the skull structure in a way that it represents 
the proper geometry of the skull and then I would like to actually offer it up for purchase for you if you would like to own the slightly prettier and slightly more symmetrical version of this cast. That's where I will put an end to this video. I thank you for watching.